All right, collective, here we go. This is uh, a really cool energy in the air right now. A lot is happening. We got a lot of astrology pulling on the energy, which is part of the reason. Only part of it, but it, it, it is. Yep, even the bird's upset and he of Pisces. It is happening. Uh, this reading is for all signs. It is a flyover of the current soulmate cycle. It is tarot at its best. It is tarot at its most powerful with all the energy. It's for anyone. If you're a person, a raccoon, a chipmunk, or bears. We've allowed bears in recently. You could be a bear too. Not a poked one, just a bear. Uh, it's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here, I promise you, you're here for a reason. And it's a timeless reading, technically. Uh, it is. Because these energies will, will repeat. Astrology does pull on the energy, but only to a point. That's why I put more stock in tarot than I do astrology. My horoscopes are never fucking right. Tarot is never fucking wrong. Right here, Page of Swords at the bottom. The energy is weird right now, and I agree with a fellow energy reader of mine. The Divine Masculine is waking up, and they don't like it. They're like a poked bear, as she put it. It's true on many levels. I see it here. I see someone watching. It's the uh, Page of Swords. Someone's watching and spying and thinking, and they may not be doing it much. I don't see a whole lot, but I see them popping in. Two of Wands underneath that. They need to let go of something. They need to let go of something to come towards you. That's that's given. And they're standing in their own way with the Five of Swords. But they're also doing a lot of thinking about this. And that's why I say there's probably not a ton of spying. Because they're busy thinking. They're in a hanged man right now. What's that hanged man going to lead to? What's the fifth card here? Well, it's a tower. Yeah. Those towers are important because the tower leads to you guys coming together. Underneath that tower is an Eight of Pentacles. It's uh, someone wanting to work on things and someone who's done some work on themselves. Let's see what we got here. Let's shuffle the deck. This is going to be a pretty powerful reading. I'll tell you what. Anytime there's a tower in the pre-shuffle, it's the shit. That's my street name. Let's see where we go here. Let's shuffle the deck. Do a flyover of the current soulmate cycle here with re Uranus retrograde. Yeah, I know. He don't like it. He a Pisces. Uranus retrograde, pulling on things, mellowing things out a little bit. Yeah. And full moon in Aquarius. The second full moon in Aquarius. The astrological blue moon, two in a row. It's sort of a repeat. It's a redo of the end of July a little bit. But with Uranus retrograde, oh, mm, it's going to smooth things. It's a little smoother. Mm -hmm. And here's proof of that. It's the world. Most powerful card in the Major Arcana before the cut here. A cycle is trying to end. We've been saying that. I know. It is. You're a person with their little five of swords that we saw in the pre-shuffles fighting it every step of the way. But there's a new day dawning here for at least the Divine Feminine. One way or another. Let's see what card comes after the world. Six of Swords. Again, it, it's things moving on to calmer waters. It's what I said about Uranus retrograde. Uranus retrograde is going to smooth things out for a little bit. It takes some of the erratic. Uranus is uh, impulsive and erratic and, and causes things to just come out of the blue and happen out of nowhere. There's a lot less shocking going on right now and a lot more I saw that coming. Okay? That's the easiest way I can put it. So watch out for those clickbait titles that say shocking developments. <laughs> Less likely to happen for the next five months. What's, wh wh what is likely to happen is your intuition is likely to go up and you're likely to see it coming. And if nothing else, I sure as fuck am. And I'm going to tell you about it. I'm giving the deck a final shuffle here. All signs. Per people, raccoons, chipmunks, and bears. Oh my. Here we go. Give the deck a final shuffle. Let's see what we got here with these energies. Oh, and we got it. Yep, yep, there we go. Two of Swords is our overall energy here. You might think that's bad, that's block communication. No, it's decision time. Somebody's at a crossroads. I said, 
you know it's a new day dawning for the divine feminine you both are at a crossroads here but what's the energy underneath this this is our overall energy for the reading I always pull one clarifier card underneath and it's the moon in this case if somebody's keeping a lot of secrets, somebody's keeping a lot to themselves, you can't do that. I mentioned this the other day, I think, on the Taurus reading. It's, uh, we often say in society, silence is golden. It's backwards. In psychology, silence is not, never golden, is the say. Silence hides a lot of things and it builds, builds within you. I like to rephrase it and say silence is rarely golden. It's probably not a good idea to tell your spouse that they don't look good in the outfit they're wearing. <laughs> so you might want to keep, you got to use your judgment with silence. You, sometimes you just got to keep your mouth shut. But suppressing emotions like your person is doing, the energy coming in, which is your person, that's bad. And that's a tower. And we already saw it. What's the energy around the connection? What's the first card out here at our, from, from the crossroads? Oh, you know what? I have to tell you what, what it is. Right here's the energy around the connection. Right here's how they feel. I'm so excited to do this reading. I can't. Right here's how they feel about you. Not what they show you, not what they tell you, because that's bullshit. Right here's the hidden energy, what the universe wants you to know. And right here's the final outcome. I'm going to clarify everything. Throw some universe cards over the top. And you can bet your sweet human, chipmunk, raccoon, and bear asses that there's going to be a link for an extended in the description. Uh, this is, uh, wow. Uh, my eyes are watering from this energy here. It's crazy. Um, all right. What's the uh, first card out after Two of Swords? What's the energy around the connection? I haven't looked. It's the King of Swords. Yeah. It's decision time. The King of Swords makes decisions. This is the universe backing up what I say. I read the energy first, then I pull the cards. The energy is decision time. And these cards have a matching background. Fairly close enough, anyway. And we got a sword here. One of the sword, one of these, the, the sword here that the king is holding is a rainbow sword. Tells me with this two of swords that one of these swords, going left or going right, leads to a rainbow of happiness. The other one is a stupid decision. I think on the soulmate side, the stupid decision is moving away from you because this sword right here, your energy is attached to that. That's the rainbow from the ten of cups and this connection in the five D. All, everybody's connection in this soulmate cycle in the 5D is rooted in happiness. We've seen it too many times in the readings for that not to be true, but I can read it anyway. It's just a 3D person with all their devil energy around them and hang-ups and pain and stuff that's screwing the whole thing up. And then you got energy from your side, which is you know, frantic energy, which I'm trying to get everybody to calm down about, put their bikinis on, go to the beach and have some fun. Speedos too, for, for the guys. Either way, uh, because there's just too much. It's, it's, it's an actual storm. See, it's upsetting the bird. Pisces. So, King of Swords overall energy is decision time. The King of Swords makes it a plan and takes action. It's time for action here. And that's part of the problem. That's why the energy is so weird. A lot of you have commented on that. I know it. I feel it. I'm in contact with at least five or six other energy readers who I talk to on a regular basis. We all agree. It's weird. Right here, how <laughs> it just is. And this is why. Crossroads are weird. They're weird points. How's your person feel in their emotions? Love. Uh, page of Cups. When the Page of Cups comes out here in this position in my reading, it's love. It's love to which, to the point to which they're capable of feeling it. This person is fairly shist. This card here tells me this person's fairly shut down a little bit. Their heart chakra is not completely open. It's wedged open a little bit. This connection's been is basically a crowbar trying to pry it open, but it's there. It's there. That's what they're feeling. The page would indicate that the love that they feel for for this connection for you is welling up inside them, and I believe it. <laughs> I can feel it. We had a tower in the pre-shuffle. It was the fifth card in, but it does happen after we get past their propensity to screw things up, shoot themselves in the foot. How do they feel about you? Not what they show you, not what they tell you. This is soul energy. Seven of Swords. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. It's a card of deception. It's a card of uh, some... They're trying to... I mean, basically, they see you as someone to to sneak away from, to, to keep secrets from. We saw the moon. 
The moon's right here. I said there's some secrets being kept here. There's some things that aren't being said. And, and with the Seven of Swords here, bookend and the King of Swords, yeah, the King of Swords is steely-eyed, quiet. Keeps his cards close to the vest a little bit. Look at this, this great horned owl with a sword. He don't need a sword. He already got three-inch talons on him. What the hell he need a sword for? Right here. That how they feel about you specifically is that they need they can't tell you some things. There's there's things that they're afraid to tell you. So they want to sneak away. They want sneaky deaky in the night. This also it tells me as well that at the same time they're casing out the joint. They're keeping an eye on you. You're someone to keep an eye on. How about that? I phrase it that way. It's going to be fun when we clarify this. This is a, a very powerful reading, but what I don't have is a major arcana on the table yet. Up here in my top row, I definitely don't. Which tells me we're bound by your person's questionable free will at this point. Still. Jesus. Hidden energy. Or we're more bound to it than we would be if these were all major arcanas. Hidden energy. Red with the King of Swords. What is it? Well, first major arcana. Well, the universe likes to talk to us with major arcanas because these represent the universe. They're ruled in the 5D. They're powerful cards. Uh, right here, strength. King of Swords, I said. It's red with the King of Swords. The King of Swords, I said, makes a plan, takes action. It's decision time. They're trying to get the strength up. This, li this lion's holding one of the roses from the Two of Cups right in his mouth. Trying to get the strength up to bring it to you. That's what these two cards say. I don't think it's going to be real lovey-dovey conversation because the love is welling up to the point of a page. I think they just got something they want to say and they're scared shitless to say it. They're, you know, uh, you're someone apparently to hide from. I don't think that's true. I know a lot of you. You seem like nice people. Right here. I even met a really nice raccoon today out on Twitter. How about that? An actual raccoon. Uh, final outcome, red with the Page of Cups, Six of Cups. The love is welling up, these two are red together, oh stop it now. The, the love is welling up because they're thinking back, they're feeling this connection. When this card falls here, it's someone who's feeling the soulmate connection. And the more they think about it, whatever, however they think, even if they think negatively, the more they think about it, the more it wells up. The, more, the stronger this gets. This, this evolves to a knight and then to a queen or a king. Hopefully a queen in my readings. That's good. So far, so good. Decision time, though. Good for them for trying to get the strength up. They've been doing that for a while. We see that the strength card is the next card after the Seven of Swords, where their propensity is to run from you and keep secrets from you and hide in the shadows. They don't see you as deceptive. They know that they're being deceptive on some level. They're keeping a lot of secrets. There's a lot of secrecy in the energy here. It's even hard for me to see. Uh, King of Swords, why is it here? Let's clarify. Let's go a layer deeper in the energy. Why is the King of Swords here? Let's see what we got. You know what? I'm being encouraged to clarify with the Lightseer deck. My little intuition kicked in and said, grab the Lightseer. Okay, okay. All right, fine. Why is the King of Swords here? So whenever that happens, there's usually a reason. I suspect we'll see it. Ha, get it? Lightseer, we'll see it. Anyway, anyway, sorry. Why is the King of Swords here? Sarah Gilbert. Again, two of swords. This is why. I said we'd see it. We Matching cards. Uh, matching cards, yeah, sometimes they mean mirroring, and yeah, people say that all the time, but that's not what it means. It, it means that it's prominent energy here in the reading. So what we've got is the Two of Swords, and it does tell me probably you're both at a crossroads with this. I would imagine that, but that's not why the universe or my intuition had me grab a second deck. And with the first card out being a match for the, that's amazing. They, holy shit, I'd love to calculate those odds. The first card out is a match, is a match for the overall energy. It's the Two of Swords, washed up TV star Sarah Gilbert. It is telling me that the energy of, that this decision is weighing heavy on this person. They, we really are, it really is decision time right now. And they feel like that. They feel like if they don't make a move here, that they're going to lose you. And it's putting a lot of pressure 
Uh, there, I feel the pressure around this Two of Swords. A lot of confusion around it. Okay? Why is the Two of Swords here? Ace of Pentacles. They're, they're afraid. Uh, Pentacles in a love reading are time. I mean, whether you call it commitment, which is time or whatever, it's about time. This is Grandma on the freeway at 15 miles an hour. They're very worried. One of the things they're confused about and worried about, and, oh, God, what should I do? What should I do? My career is over. <laughs> no, sorry, just picking on there. What, what should I do uh, is because a lot of time has passed here. This is old energy. This has been going on a spell for, for a lot of you. It really has. It really has. It's time for the King of Swords. It's time for them to pull up their big boy, big girl pants and take some action here. Grandma takes a long time to get places at 15 miles an hour and she ties up traffic for miles. What's this Page of Cups about in their feelings? Why is this here? Why is this here? Let's see what we got here. I see the bottom card. Yeah. Bottom card's the ace of... Uh, bottom card is a crossing card on my two clarifiers. I sometimes mention it to you. I sometimes don't. It's the ace of wands. It's the bottom card. It's a new beginning. It's what they want. They know that that's the right decision. They're aware. And why? I got the Ace of Cups on top of the Page of Cups. The Ace of Cups is a giant, huge amount of love. This person loves you, Ace of Cups, is just starting to well up as Page because that's all they're capable of because their heart chakra is not completely open. But the more they think about it here with this Six of Cups, the more they feel this connection. So the more they spy, the more they try to, the more they try to run away the more likely they are to come running towards you. It actually verifies that, that one card right there. It's got cellophane over the top of it. I'm seeing it start to leak whenever I'm drawn to this leakage here. All right, I call it anal leakage of the uh, Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Queen of Wands. Yeah. Uh, they're not, they're refusing to, the Queen of Wands holds a lot of passion inside. On the outside, everything's great. Uh, everything's fine. I don't care about this. It's all good. It's pretense. Pretense energy. It's surface energy. It's superficial. Um, they're try their reason they're showing up as a page is the main card, and but yet there's an ace of cups here is because they're they're pretending it's it's yet you're no big deal. And that's what that's the deception of what this seven of swords is. You're you're no big deal. You're just like everyone else. You know, I could find that person anywhere. No, I'm afraid they can't. I definitely feel this connection cycle and I know what's in it and nope can't not going to find it just anywhere but that's why it, we have a page as the base card in their feelings but know that they love you full ace of cups there's a lot of love in there and it's welling up I see it I see it Queen of Wands can you know can fight it all all she wants male or female don't matter it's a she on the card why is the seven of swords here so this tells me that they're just fooling themselves. You don't matter. That's how they see you. But it's a lie. You do matter. You matter a great deal. Why is the Seven of Swords here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Again, I read the energy first, folks. The lovers. There it is. You matter a great deal. They feel this connection. I got the lovers and the Six of Cups in the same reading for me key trigger, especially with the strength card where I'm drawn to the infinity symbol on the head of the lion here. Uh, this, those cards alone, this is twin flame, deep soul. It is an extremely powerful connection. I can feel it. The, the more they try to lie to themselves and say that you don't matter, the more you matter. It, the card just literally backed up everything I just told you about the Queen of Wands and this Ace of Cups here. It's right here. It's right there. You matter a lot. But, no, they don't. I don't care. You know, whatever. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> I'm going go, I'm, I'm to do it for you. I'm going to do it for you. By the way, the Ace of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. So that's the crossing card for whatever the next card is. I'm going to do it for you. We're going to flip off two, two middle fingers to the Queen of Wands there. They fucking matter, motherfucker. All right, what, what comes out after the lovers? Yeah, Four of Swords, they're figuring it out. She lying here, healing. This is telling me with the little heart here that the heart chakra is beginning to open. I told you, the more they try, and this card proves it as well, the more they try to, to you don't matter, you don't matter, this and that, the more you matter. The energy builds. See, a person doesn't know how energy works. 
They're trying to almost manifest the end of the, in a way, metaphorically speaking, they're trying to manifest the end of this thing. I'm sorry, they don't have that kind of power. You don't get to throw a gift back in the face of a powerful relative on Christmas morning. Well, thanks for the Xbox, but here you go. Chuck it back at them. It don't work that way. You're going to get sent to your room. Sent to your room. Four of Swords. Mm. It's a bit of a timeout chair for your person while their heart chakra opens and they stop this nonsense that I just gave two middle fingers to. Why well, is the strength card here? It, it is nonsense. And Uranus retrograde is going to clear some things. It's going to... It'll mellow this person's mind enough is what this reading is saying where they're going to... You know, it's just getting stronger and stronger. And this Ace of Cups... Oh, we got a card on the floor. This Ace of Cups is starting to leak. Okay, they have cellophane on it. This pretense here is starting to crack, is what this Four of Swords is telling us. Their heart chakra is opening. Got a card that fell on the floor. I'm going to pick it up as it fell. It's the first card on our strength card. They are getting the strength. Eight of Pentacles. They are getting the strength together to come work on. Eight of Pentacles with the uh, Two of Swords. Double Two of Swords. Excuse me. Tells me straight up this person is doing everything they can to look away from this. They're doing everything they can to focus on practical concerns. They're looking at this very logically. And that's a problem. And it is and it's why the energy is building. It's why there's a weirdness in the air. They're looking at this from a practical, logical perspective. Mr. or Mrs. Spock, metaphorically speaking. Uh, it's wrong. You can't. You can't do it. And, and proof of it is all the wasted time we've got here and this ace of cups leaking and this lover's card on top of the seven of swords this seven of swords is part of this looking away this this deception sneaky deaky sneaking away mm -mm. the heart chakra is opening i know that from the four of swords here there's healing happening within your person's heart and as that happens they can run but they're not going anywhere it's right here it builds and builds and builds and they're fixing to explode <laughs> four of wands yeah listen uh, sometimes this is a card of marriage your person might be married they might be in a third party universe don't want to talk about it here it's not what i asked about i'm trying to get you some information well, we already know from a dozen readings we pulled on fly on the wall on their side that it, 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 it we don't even need those readings screw it we already know it's, it's a couch i wouldn't want to sleep on okay it's the air over there the energy is like pea soup but we don't need it this here is someone who, and, and they may very well be in a third party because it's almost behavior here of someone who is with someone they don't love and loves the fuck out of you and is trying to just pretend that what they do have already is good enough. It ain't. So if your person is in a third party, that's the situation. But for all of you, this four of wands right here, which is red with the ace of pentacles, says that this person knows goddamn well that this is long term that you're the one, you're the right one, you're the happy new beginning. They know damn well. And just like grandma knows damn well she's doing 15 miles an hour and there's a line of cars behind her. She just don't care. She can't go any faster. Doesn't know how to handle the car beyond 15. <laughs> and right here, this is, this is everything we see, especially with the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, you know, I'm going to focus on this practical stuff. I'm going to focus on this and this because I can control this and I can do that and I don't want to be feeling this. You don't want to be feeling it too bad. It's leaking out here. And the more they try to go away, the stronger it gets. And I said that when the uh, Six of Cups fell. Long before the lovers fell on top of the Seven of Swords, I said that. And here we go. Six of Cups. Red with all this. This is our final outcome. What's going to happen here in the near future? What do we got? What do we got? Give me two cards here and a bottom card. I want a crossing card on this. I think I'm going to need it. Okay. Okay. Six of Pentacles. Balance. The, the connection's trying to balance. It's getting knocked out of balance by this leaking Ace of Cups. So far, so good. All right. What's the last card out? Red with the Queen of Wands, who I gave two middle fingers to for you. I don't do that for everyone, but I'll do it for you it, because this is bullshit. And they know it. And they know it. Four of uh, six of Pentacles. Why is it here? 
star. Yeah. You can run, but you can't hide. The star is destiny. It is a card of divine timing. It is a card of communication when it falls here. Long-awaited communication, I might add. Now, it's not going to be the, the Queen of Wands loses to the star. All right? and, the, and this has been delayed because you wouldn't, it's been delayed by the universe. This card tells us that. Why? You might ask, why? Why? I want my person. I want my person. Yeah. No, you don't. You don't want this shit. You don't want this shit. Pa page of cups. You want this person to finish cooking. And right now, they're in the oven. They're cooking. They're healing. Their heart chakra is getting pried open by the crowbar in the universe's hands. Each time they try to walk away and say, oh, I don't, I, don't want, I don't care about this, I don't want to give to this, it gets stronger and stronger. And that's the weirdness that you feel in the energy. If you feel a weirdness, which a lot of you do, and I do, it's weird today. Strange things happen in on my morning walk. I won't go into the stories or this will be a three-hour video. But it's weird, and this is why. This person's still cooking. You wouldn't want them right now. The universe delayed this. Because there's a less, it's trying to balance the energy. It's doing what nature does. Nature tries to balance energy. You've all heard the term, nature abhors a vacuum, I imagine. If you haven't, you can Google it. it, it it's a saying. What it means is it's talking about out-of-balance energy. It's talking about one side heavier than the other, creating a vacuum. That vacuum needs to be filled. It needs to be balanced. What, what balances it? Putting more weight on the other side. Somebody, somebody here was breadcrumbing. Somebody here wasn't given and somebody else was. You tried, mostly the divine feminine. They tried and tried and tried and tried. And you couldn't crack this person. You know, it's true. It's right, it's laid out in the cards right here and they're still trying to fight it a little bit. You want this Ace of Cups with the cellophane off. You want it dumped out all over you. Pour some sugar on me, Def Leppard sang back in the 80s. Yep, this right here, the star is pouring some sugar on me. You're about to get some sugar poured on you. How do I know? The bottom card is the Queen of Swords. It is a card of communication. It is someone with very fancy sandals. But it is some a card of communication. Again, I've got the King of Swords over here in the energy of the connection. This Queen of Swords is from a separate deck. This tells me as well, you guys, this is a divinely guided connection. Also tells me that if they're, as always in my readings, King and Queen of Swords are fighters. They fight a lot. Like the neighbors know about it. I believe in the UK you call it a row. They row every night. If your person's married. If your person's with someone else. Uh, if they're in a job, they row with it. And there's a lot of rowing going on. Fighting. Either way, for all of you, whether your person is with someone else or not, this is communication. And it is, underneath that is the Queen of Pentacles. Because you're irreplaceable. The Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing, warm energy. Your energy is attached to this card. You are irreplaceable. That's this is, it's what I said earlier. I said if you rewind the video, I talked about you being irreplaceable. I talked about this connection. They're not just going to find you anywhere. That's what they thought with the Seven of Swords. That's what they're telling themselves. It's a lie. Seven of Swords is a lie. Because it, it just makes the energy stronger. Then they lie to themselves more. And they get more and more frantic. That's why they're healing. Slowly but surely, it's Four of Swords. Would have rather have seen a hermit here or something. But I'll take it. The universe is standing right over with their heart chakra with a crowbar. This connection... The more they run away from it, this, the more this connection opens up their heart chakra, is one way I can put it. All right. So this is beautiful. Uranus retrograde, you have full moon and Aquarius aside, Uranus retrograde is going to have a great effect on these soulmate connections. It, it truly is. It's a whole other world for the next five months. And I'm not saying you have to wait five months. I'm just saying that's how long Uranus is retrograde, till, till sometime in January, which is good. It'll give this damn person time to wake the fuck up and make a decision. Let's ask the universe if there's anything else they want to tell you before I go pull some voodoo. And I'll tell you what I'm going to pull some voodoo on here as soon as I get my shuffle. I got my shuffle. I'm going to pull some voodoo on all this shit. 
There's, there's Queen of Wands. There's Seven of Swords. There's Two of Swords. I'm also going to pull, find out if there's anything here about any kind of third energy that's fucking things up. So you see what we can find. Also, what I want to know is how this is going to play out. Specifically, I think you need that information. And don't share the information you get. I go pretty deep in the extended readings. I go four, five, six layers down in the energy. You're getting, I'm basically a, a private investigator that you've hired to hide behind the bushes outside their house. So, be careful about that information. Use it wisely. If you don't, you might catch some karma. I'm just going to tell you. I'll catch karma for doing it if it's not for the greater good. But whatever. Do what you want. Uh, you're going to see how, th how this is all going to play out and if there's any advice in there for you. But we got to find out what all this deception is about. There's a lot of secrets and deception here, and we got to dig for it. The message from the universe, three cards. Knight of, Knight of Wands, Ten of Wands, and the Six of Swords. You Red, center, left, right, you are heavy on their mind. Uh, they are fighting the impulse every day to not just reach out. This person, I will tell you straight up, they know that that communication solves all the problems here. They are aware of that with the Six of Swords. This is a slow moving energy. There's no motor on that boat. This girl ain't even making any effort to freaking row. I mean, she ain't doing nothing. She's like, I'm just going to stand here and let these birds and the wind take me. I mean, it's fucking slow. It's the third slowest energy in the tarot, in my opinion. But second only to the Knight of Pentacles, the asshole that needs to get on a horse and stop walking. But right here, the Ten of Wands, it's very heavy. This person has written to you, written a text, shared their feelings with you, and many things that they've probably written on their side, or at least thought on their side. They've run the conversation through their head, or through their phone, or through their keyboard on their computer 900 fucking times. Each time they stop themselves, but it's a real burden. It's getting harder and harder to stop themselves, is what this Ten of Wands says. And the good news is this is a Ten of Wands, not a Nine of Wands, like we often see with that wall. The wall is coming down. Their heart chakra is getting pried open by a universe with 20-inch biceps and a crowbar in its hand. There's your image in your mind. Six foot eight, 360 pounds, 20-inch biceps and a crowbar opening up your person's heart chakra. That's what's going on. It really is. We saw the world in my pre-shuffle as a very, or before the cut. That's a very powerful position for the world to fall in. That's the driver's seat before the cut. That's the first card of the actual card shuffle for the reading. It, so the universe is in the driver's seat here is what that is basically saying. <sighs> Unfortunately, at the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Pentacles. A little bit of patience is required. I know. It's the most hated word on my Twitter feed. I believe it. I think it's hated more than Sarah Gilbert. But it is what it is. Um, watch this fool's watching plants grow. It is what it is. But you're irreplaceable. You're the Hereford. And this connection has profoundly, whether they've shown it or not, this connection has profoundly changed the lives of both of you. Not just your person. Both of you have learned something here. Focus on the lesson for sure. Now, let's go pull some voodoo. So let's, everything I told you I'm going to do, I'm going to do probably and more. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. We'll see where it goes. I uh, hope this reading was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers and everyone who shares and everyone who watches and all that. All right. All right. I'm going to go pull the extended right now. We'll find out what all this bullshit is. All right. Good luck, everyone.